So you mean to tell me that not only that Capcom has teamed up with SNK for Street Fighter 6, they about to come out with the entire Marvel vs. Capcom collection? Listen, this is something, I ain't going to say this is something that people have been wanting for years. Primarily, people just been wanting MVC 2 to come back. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Because that game has been delisted from... Uh, the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 since what 2013 or 2012 or 2011 something like that it's been over 10 years since it's been delisted de and people have been wanting that game if you wanted to buy the game you had to pay for over a hundred dollars to get it on Dreamcast PS2 or Xbox uh, the original Xbox and uh, unless you hacked your console you you had it on there if you didn't buy it and you could play it on Fightcade I think not only that that game is available, there are six other games that's going to be available. Games that were primarily on the Saturn definitively, um, if you wanted the definitive version. And uh, it's been uh, long overdue. You're talking about X-Men vs. Street Fighter, a game that you could play on PlayStation 1, which was not that good. But if you played the Saturn version, you basically got an arcade port. Same thing with Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Two outstanding games that were basically locked on the Saturn definitively. Now, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 did come out on the PlayStation 3 as well, which was delisted not too long ago after, I think it was around the same time MVC 2 was delisted, and Marvel Super Heroes. But you didn't get Children of Adam. You know, that's another game that was definitively, well, I'll say definitively on the Saturn as well. And it's amazing that this is happening because Marvel versus Capcom, that was a thing of the past. Marvel did not want to deal with Capcom anymore. They got the, you know, it was a licensing issue. And even when that wasn't a licensing issue, you couldn't even get the X-Men characters because they were on Disney. So with that being said, you didn't get a Marvel vs. Capcom the way we thought we could have had. Because you got to understand, like, even with uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, you didn't have any X-Men characters. And that game was okay, but it just it didn't hit like the other ones. So, with this collection, I'm going to tell you guys something. I don't know how true this is, but this is usually the case in the world of economics. You buy this game like there's no other game to buy. You buy this game in droves. You buy this game more than once if you can. And let them know that this is what we want. And if enough people buy it, and if it's overwhelmingly, we may get another Marvel vs. Capcom. A true Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this game for the PlayStation 4. I'm buying it for the Switch. I'm buying it on PC. I'm probably going to buy more than one copy. Because this collection is absolutely amazing. Now, when I say I buy more than one copy, I'm probably going to buy some copies and gift them to people on Steam because I want this to happen yet again. Matter of fact, uh, I want this to happen a few more times. The Marvel vs. Capcom series is a series that can be done in so many ways. Not necessarily the way that we've always seen, but it can be done in so many ways and it will feel fresh and it will feel beautiful. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. And it will be awesome every single time. This is a thing that needs to happen. Uh, I am a big fan of buying this over and over again. I bought the other collection with Dog Stalkers. I bought that in hopes of getting another Dog Stalker because I don't know if that's going to happen. So it's not set in stone that the Marvel one would happen. But I will buy this like crazy because I would like to play this on my Switch. I would like to play this on my PlayStation 4. And just to have it on PC, I will buy it on PC as well. But um, one more thing before I get out of here. Will I, will I be able to retire my older versions of this game? I won't have to play the, uh, the original Xbox version anymore. I won't have to play the Dreamcast versions of these games. I won't have to play the Saturn versions of these games, even though X-Men vs. Street Fighter and uh, uh, Marvel, Super, uh, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, those games are absolutely amazing and I guess it is, it, all things do come to an end. You got to understand, these games are all, almost 20 years old. Well, or, well, I'll take that back, almost 30 years old, to be honest. And uh, it's time to go ahead and put them games to the side 
and I'll play the versions that are coming out in later on this year. And uh, it, it's been a fantastic run. I love these games. I think these games are absolutely awesome. And I am so excited that this is coming out. I, I'm, I'm probably going to buy a couple of physical copies as well. Probably buy two copies of the digital, I mean, two, a couple, two copies of the Switch and two copies of the PlayStation 4 version. I would love to see this come all to fruition in its own right to let these guys know that this is what we want. Marvel's Capcom is a thing that's, it, it, especially Marvel's Capcom 2, that was a cultural game. For, I mean, that game went across, you know, gaming and went across to the mainstream. It was one of those games that people loved, and even though Marvel's Capcom 3 and Infinite came out, it just wasn't the same. MVC2 was that game, and for it to be online as well, I'm definitely, I don't play much online, but this is a game I definitely will be playing online. I'll be playing a, a hand all of them. I mean, X-Men versus Street Fighter is on an official online capacity. Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter is in the online. Marvel's Capcom 1 is online officially. Not necessarily because of Fightcade. And I know Fightcade is great. But to have all these other things attached to it. All the artwork. All the, the music. All these other things that come with it. It is a beautiful thing, y'all. I, look, I'm about to go on Steam on my, on my app on Steam. And probably go ahead and buy this game right now. Go ahead and, and, and just have it ready to go. And uh, probably going to go to Amazon to see if I can get a couple of uh, physical copies already paid for so they'll just come straight to the house. Uh, it's, it, 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 yes, it is that serious. Y'all don't understand. You, if, if, you wasn't out, if you wasn't outside in, in the year 2000 when Marvel's Capcom 2 dropped, if you wasn't out there in 99 when Marvel's Capcom 1 dropped, you know, if you were, I, and I know a lot of us, you know, probably us old heads, but a lot of you guys right now have not been outside when the old X-Men vs. Street Fighter came out. It, it, this is a big deal. And if you're a fan of X-Men and Street Fighter, I mean, this is a dream come true to you guys to get this uh, entire uh, collection. Absolutely amazing. But I'm going to get out of here. I'm at work, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys enjoy your uh, rest of the day. And I'm going to check out the rest of the Nintendo Direct as well when I get home. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.